Hello, my name is Paul Coyle. This is a screenshot of my website, which is www.profpaulcoyle.com. That's me here. My consultancy supports higher education institutions that have made a strategic decision to transform themselves into an entrepreneurial university. I tweet regularly under the name Prof Paul Coyle and I'm privileged to be working with universities from all over the world. One of my areas of expertise is helping individuals to develop an entrepreneurial mindset. And having had over 30 years of experience as a leader myself, I help people to reflect on and develop their own leadership abilities. At the start of 2016, I spent six weeks on a study tour in Australia and I gave a talk at the University of Adelaide on the model I've developed which consists of six characteristics of the entrepreneurial mindset which are shown at the top of this screen. One of the characteristics I spoke about is leading the way and I presented my model of leadership and I also want to share that with you. In simple terms I think of leadership as motivating and inspiring other people. However, people's expectations of you as a leader are that you're also going to get things done. So I believe that as a leader you have to lead and you have to manage. And I strongly believe that you have to learn how to flex between leadership and management, sometimes motivating people, sometimes focusing on really getting things done. So when do you know when to lead and when to manage? What if you feel that your strengths lie in motivating people? Maybe that's what you enjoy. I don't think the choice of leading or managing is down to your personality or your personal preferences. I believe that your choice should be dependent on the context, on the person or the people or the situation. You need to modify your approach to this external context. And using the analogy of the thermostat, you switch on your cold and your hot approaches depending upon the temperature in the room. So what is the purpose of your leadership and management? Hopefully one of the things you want to achieve is to help the members of your team perform to the best of their abilities. But you might also have to deal with underperformance. In fact, even the most experienced leaders struggle with how best to deal with this situation. My model argues that as a leader, you need to be able to adapt your approach to all four of these situations. If somebody is performing well, but they're encountering obstacles which they don't have the power to resolve, then you need to manage that situation and find ways to enable them. If somebody is performing very well, you can demonstrate leadership by getting out of their way, but being on hand to coach and advise them. If somebody is underperforming, you can exercise leadership by inspiring them so that they are motivated to make their contribution. And finally, if somebody is underperforming, then you may well need to manage them. That means giving clear instructions about your expectations of what they need to do, how they need to improve, and what the consequences will be for continued poor performance. Now, of course, this is a simple model, and leading is a complex business. When you're interacting with somebody in your team, you may need to use all these approaches, advising, enabling, inspiring, and instructing maybe even flexing between these four different approaches in the same conversation. What you must not do is avoid giving instructions. Managing is just as important as leading and it should not be neglected. Every leader needs to learn how to flex between leading and managing. I hope you find the model of leadership and management interesting. I'm really looking forward to discussing this model with you and I will do my best to try and answer any questions you have.